Good morning, I'm Becky and I have my science assistant, Mary Jane, and we are back on this kind of gross cold day to do some exciting science using candy, particularly Starburst. And we have a few things to mention. Okay, we have a few things to mention. One, Spike over here is hungry, so he's eating some Starburst. Yeah, he, he stole some of the Starburst this morning before we got started in our experiment. And we are, mom has a dinosaur Fossil on the chair. Yes, I'm dressed. And I'm trying to stand up on my tippy toes. I have a dinosaur in my pocket. Yeah, so we decided to wear our dinosaur shirts and clothes today because we're doing a geology lesson and it connects really well to dinosaurs. So we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. So what we're doing oh, and today. By the way, I just taught mom something. Good. I did, yeah. So Mary Jane taught me a new word, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. We're super excited. She's super excited. I, I love learning new things. So. What we're doing today is we are going to demonstrate the rock cycle using our candy, which is the process that rocks go through over millions and millions of years and changing from one type of rock to another. So it's how basically how rocks are formed. And there are a few different types mm -hmm. of rocks, well not types, but like categories. Categories, yep. Um, one is Igneous. Igneous, yep. And so the other one is metamorphic, and, and the third one is um, sedimentary. Sedimentary. So and the, the way you make sedimentary, the way you the way you get sedimentary rock is you have little um pieces of rock which we call clast um at the bottom of a riverbed, and then it, over time it just you know becomes the rock, like the, the tiny pieces just like clump together, like in a giant In a giant hug. hug. So base, so yeah. So Mary Jane was super excited to share the word class, right? Uh -huh. So she did that, teach that to me. So we're going to explain that process. Mm -hmm. Should we tell them what we need? Mm -hmm. Okay. Obviously you need Starburst. You need Starburst. Now we're using Starburst. Um, any type of like a toffee type or a, like, like a taffy type candy would work. Like you can use, um. Um, colored salt oil taffy. Exactly. Salt. You can also do this with marshmallows and chocolate chips. So when we talk about the sediment, you could use marshmallows and chocolate chips for the same process. We're just using the Starburst because we got them in our Easter basket. So the well, first step, well, you did. We're borrowing them. So the first thing um, you want to do is you'll need about four Starburst. And, and we're we'll just... Take, we'll take this one yeah. and this one and... And I would recommend using a couple different colors so you can see the difference. That one and, is chili. Yeah, my favorite. Which one's your favorite? Um, my favorite is probably orange or lemon. Yeah. Probably so orange. we make a good pair because I love the cherry ones. And we love the orange ones. So while uh, you... And, and, Dad loves the, and Dad loves the strawberry ones. So, so we're good. Pretty, yeah. So what we're going to do is we are taking these Starburst. And we are going to chop them into little bits. I'm still opening. This yeah, one. I'll, I'll keep chop. I'll chop while you open. And what we're doing is we're creating our sediments or those little bits of rock. Like class. Like class, which. And the, then they all wash down to the end of exactly. the little bit. Exactly. So through the process of weathering, so wind and water breaks down rocks into smaller pieces like sand. And mm -hmm. those pieces create the sediment, which combine together. And so what we're doing is we're making um, a type of sedimentary, sedimentary rock like limestone, which is where you get minerals, and some, and that's when you get your fossils, is in the limestone, in, as an example, when in the midst of the sediment, your fossils, your bones get trapped in there. You can also have layers of something like sand that makes sandstone. And then what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, oops. Um, oh, you yeah. need those. Yeah. We're going to imply heat and pressure, which I'm not very good at that. Yep, yeah. So what we're going to do yeah, is to gather up, can I eat this one? yeah, you can eat that one, yeah. gather up the sediments and in our hand, we're just going to smush them together. And at first they're not going to want to stick together. Um, but once you use a little bit of heat from your hand, you can also add a touch of water if they're, if they're not wanting to stick together. And eventually you end up with a rock that looks like this. Can and you, this is a... We're going to hold it a little closer so you can see what it is. There we go. We have a picture of one that we did the other day. That's good. So this is our sedimentary rocks. It's all that sediment kind of combined together. And next, we're going to take the sedimentary rock and make a... Metamorphic. So what we're going to do is we have our waxed paper. 
And, and then what are you going to do? I need to do is take your lock that you made and put it in between the two pieces of parchment paper and just press down. Exactly. Really hard. So yes. once again, I'm it's using heat and wet. Yeah. Plant. So in a metamorphic rock, what happens is your sedimentary rock or your igneous rock, they get down in the middle of the earth and there's lots of pressure on them from the layers above and there's heat from the middle of the earth. And it and it changes these rocks, and, and you know, it, and it's it, a lot of work. Mom, that's probably enough. Is that good? Yeah. And after a bunch over time, you get this. Yeah. So that's our metamorphic rock. So we those sediments have mixed a little bit more that were in that sedimentary rock. They've come together, and you'll notice that. Can I find this? You notice it's a it's a lot flatter. And that is actually something that you see with metamorphic rock. It tends to be a little harder, denser, because everything is smushed together. So metamorphic rock. Now we have one more type of rock. Which is this. Which, that's our big reveal. So, we'll, oh, we'll, yeah. So, what, you didn't see that. until you didn't see that one. So what's going to happen now is this metamorphic rock. Is you're going to melt it. You're going to melt it. So, so that's a lot a lot of heat. Yeah. So here, we're going to borrow this plate. Hey. So what you guys are going to do now is we're going to pretend like this rock is deep in the middle of the earth, and we're going to turn it into magma. And what you're going to do to do that is stick it in the microwave. Exactly. You're going to stick it in the microwave. So this part, you definitely want to have an adult to do this. You're going to put the metamorphic rock on a microwave-safe plate or in a small bowl, and you're gonna microwave it for 20 to 30 seconds. And no more than 30 seconds, your candy is gonna melt. Now, the thing melt. about melted sugar is it's really hot. hot. Really hot. Really hot. And you can you can burn yourself. So what we want people to do is, is um let it cool for about five minutes exactly. and then you can melt. Yeah, so an adult should put it in the microwave. Pull it out. You can observe it on the plate. Use a hot pad to get it out of the microwave. But take a look at it. Just observe with your eyes once you get out of the microwave. And we have a picture of what um, it looks like when it comes right out of the microwave. So you can see it's starting to ooze together. It's really melty. And this is what we call magma. So melted rock inside of the earth is called Magma. And now, when it, how does it get out of the earth? You remember? Volcano. Volcano. So, in those big eruptions, what's coming out is melted rock. I'm a volcano. Yeah, you're a volcano. And so, then what happens is this melted rock, it cools. If it cools really, really fast, you can get some air in there and get something, a uh, light rock like pumice, or sometimes um, if it cools really slowly, you you'll get, get something. You like get that. really hard rock. So, this, I'm dun dun dun. dun is our igneous rock so uh -huh. and this is what happens basically when you cool something down oh and by the way i i did we did this a few days ago with something else and i actually had a different type of jetty in there but i already ate it so yeah it doesn't matter. so um this is it's actually really hard if i tap it on the on the boy you can hear how hard it is so what we did is we let the yeah we let the melted rock cool for at least five minutes and then dense. and then we um gathered it up with a spoon and once it was cool enough to touch um and it i molded it into a rock so as you can see it's completely different it looks really different from that sedimentary rock and what's really fun is um you can also eat these rocks it's really cool right. you can eat the, you, yeah you can eat the metamorphic rock um like i said you can also do the same thing with chocolate chips and you can do it um, with marshmallows, um, the same process. It's um, super fun. So we hope that you have enjoyed a little bit of a geology lesson today and a fun thing to do on this kind of cold, gross day um, with your leftover Easter candy. And we hope to see you guys again. If you, oh, if you make these rocks, we would love to see what you come up with. You can share them on using the museum's hashtag, um, hashtag TCM at home. And we have more great content coming to you every week. So stay tuned to our Facebook and Instagram pages. And we hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Bye. Science rules. It does rule.